Hello everyone and welcome back, Meat Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. We're in Tapper Simulator. It's just updated today, just a few minutes ago, guys, on this Saturday morning for me in New York in the United States. The one million egg is still here, so I've been hatching it for just a second here while we do the intro, guys. So we have a new island, new pets, and new things to talk about. Let's jump right into this bad boy. So we can pop up the version behind my webcam. It's version 1.2.0, guys. Fire Island is here with a new fire egg, fire wings, and new rebirth pets, of course, but there's a lot of other stuff as well. You remember that uh, pogo cop that was in the spinner pet, pet wheel? Well, it's been replaced by something called drum roll, so it's a little bit better and more of a unique limited pet. Also, if you're a premium player, you'll notice on the top left here, I have 10% more taps for being a Roblox premium user. Also, there's friend boost in the game now. I don't know if it's 5, 10% each, but if you have friends in the server, you're gonna be getting more taps, basically, guys. The friends multi boost are now implemented awesome exclusive pets of course have been swapped in the shop the spinner tap rewards are proper 20 percent now they fixed an issue that caused leaderboard pets to show higher pet level and basically pets that overflow past, past the cap will be removed by server meaning if you get over what your back can hold they're actually going to get deleted i think also it says the rebirth formula re-optimized to scale better at upper bound not sure what that means maybe it's more realistic amount of taps it takes i don't know and training with a large inventory should no longer choke client good to know guys so today we're gonna dive in to the new fire island and we're gonna go check out the pets show you what they look like and probably take a legendary and evolve it at the very least guys so i've been getting into this game slowly over the past week i haven't dove straight into it as you see i only have four pets equipped but i do have some hatching game passes and all that i'm doing pretty good with 655 pets in the bag my pet power is a little weak at 691,000, but you know what the pets this week guys are really really strong so yeah that's gonna change things for sure as we ease on in now going into the upgrade shop i think there's a new one to get more diamonds at 100 million i'm not sure max storage might have been increased by one and higher walk speed but i'm not sure if all of those have and in the rebirth shop itself uh if we scroll up there are really nothing new in here except for there's going to be new rebirth pets in the pet island guys or the fire island so the index right now is currently at 68 pets i still have a lot of work to go and of course we'll try to lock those in so here it is up here guys basically you can jump up to island to island if you want but my preference honestly is just buying the portals with the tap fire island is right here it costs 500 trillion taps just so you know so make sure you have 500 trillion and you'll be able to go into the fire island so i already purchased it because it's just the way to do it guys so here we go right now in the fire island and as expected it looks like a fire island guys it's got some volcano action magma floor and the typical setup with the islands that have all of the host of machines on it and all that and here are the wings right here these wings look pretty cool not gonna lie since you have to wear them you may as well have cool ones let's step in there and see it's 80 quadrillion taps to buy those woof that's expensive i don't even have 80 quadrillion taps on this dude wow there's a new bobux egg for 7.99 that has a couple pets and of course the new lava egg it costs three trillion taps and as you see i've already hashed a bunch of pets to show you obviously not the secret so i got lucky and got four legendaries within the first like five ten minutes of the update so i'm doing pretty good in that regard man but it would be nice to get a secret one of these days it looks like it's gonna be like a fiery dragon type thing and i bet you the stats are really crazy because the stats on these other pets absolutely insane guys when i show you those pets so Let's go ahead and hatch a few more here to check it out and then I'll go and dive into the bag, show you. And then I think I have enough to actually evolve one of the legendaries at the stage one to see what it looks like. So here they are in the bags. Now, a rainbow version of the 1 million buff cat legendary was 3 thousand uh multiplier which wasn't as good as you know the legendary snail would have been and i only have on the epic gumballs actually because i started late so here are the sweet slugs i call them snails they're slugs whatever but look at this guys so unequip all this is the pyre fiend this is the legendary pet from this world it starts out at 2400 normal we're gonna slap that on then we scroll down a little bit more this is the spicy cube epic 2000 multiplier guys absolutely insane there's only 547 the epic emperor dragon is a 1.7 thousand on normal version then we could scroll down even more we have the fire sheep at 1.6k 
we have the Lava Golem 1.4K, the Blue Fire Golem, which is uncommon at 1.2K, and we have a common in here, right here. The common is 1.1 thousand, guys. The common from this egg is better than the legendary from the 1 million event. That's pretty insane. So let's go ahead and put on um, this uh, this one right here, the Fire Sheep, and then, then, then we'll do the two commons as well. So let's scroll back up and see. There's only 203 legendaries at this time that exist guys so here we go right here here are the pets dude i love the outlines i love the unique look of these pets always phenomenal looking so there he is the legendary pyre fiend right here in the front that actually looks really cool then we have the epic spicy cube in the back right here he is looking cool with the magma outline we've got the emperor dragon right here with the little wings and the normal fire sheep all really cute good looking pets guys so let's go ahead and go back in the bags unequip all and let's slap on those other ones to show you what they look like the rare lava golem the uncommon blue fire golem and the rage fire golem so here they are dude that lava golem is really sick looking oh my god i can't believe that's a rare pet dude look at that wow that's cool then we got the rage fire golem these pets are looking absolutely awesome good job guys on the pets holy moly these are awesome pets i really dig these a lot very very cool okay dude let's go so let's unequip all we're gonna go into the uh machine here the evolve machine guys and this is something i'm gonna focus on a lot more this week now that i'm into the game really aggressively so we can make normal shiny rainbow versions of the legendary into a pay basically a super pet so i'm going to take three normal of those legendary pyre fiends and evolve it into this thing and see what it turns into bam dude oh my god that's like that but like souped up with a sick like sinister rope oh my god i just fell oh no oh no we're fall falling to our oh no the thing with this game is when you fall you keep falling baby let's see if we can land right here let's see if we can land yes let's go okay so we're in uh what is this mushroom island i'm not sure what this one was was called but we're gonna go back because we got to keep things in the theme of things and go back that was fairy tale island into <laughs> fire island guys let's go back up in, in here and open up the bag and show you so here we go now you see right away look at the stats it's my number one pet the Pyre Lord. There's only 12 of them in existence right now. It's 4,001 stats compared to its normal version, 2,400. Here we go. Let's do a little comparison right here. Wow, that's cool. Actually, what I want to probably do is unequip all, put this one on first, and I guess if this guy's going to be in front, put him on second right there. There he is, dude. Holy moly. The Pyre Lord is looking sick. I can't wait to have a full team of these bad boys. That is wow, dude. That's a beast. That thing looks sick. It looks like we're preparing for Halloween with that Lord Sinister action right there, dude. Absolutely sick. And the stats on this one alone are 4,000. I just clicked the tab button. Oh my goodness. Dude, let's go. We got to get a ton of these and beef ourselves up super strong. This world also gives a 70% world boost, guys. Just keep that in mind as well. So you got that going for you. You're going to be getting a lot more taps. Get some friends going and tap away, guys. Let's step outside the portal just for one second because you know what's coming next, right? Halloween is next week, and as we thought, this is definitely a Halloween-looking portal, guys. Look at the colors of it. It's like Frankenstein-y, rest in peace. We got goblin zombie hands coming out of the ground, guys. You know it's going to be a Halloween update with Halloween stuff and the pets are definitely gonna look awesome and then it looks like we're ready to hop on that rocket ship to go to a new world entirely in Tapper simulator guys absolutely cool so the leaderboard pets are also going to be released next week on October 29th so the top dog is gonna get the big boy cactus spike guy the rest of the top 50 gonna get the mini cactus spike guy and for everyone else that's up to 250 in pet power is gonna get the smaller version of it but I bet you you know what they're all gonna be awesome it says right here the handouts October 29th so keep on working on your pet power guys there's eggs hatch total taps I don't know if that's gonna change with the leaderboard or whatnot but man this pyre lord sinister looking thing absolutely sick and i love it guys so that's the update for today in the new fire island on tapper simulator i'm gonna be working hard show you what i get throughout the week drop in the comments below if you want to see more on this awesome game good job russo good job dev team and that's all i had for today so thanks for sticking with me this far guys and remember until next time stay positive keep tapping and have a great rest of your day bye bye